Electrostatic potential energy is essentially the potential energy that exists between electric charges which are found in relative close proximity. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram. Let's suppose we have a single electron which is found at point A and this electron has a quantity of charge given by lowercase q. Suppose we want to move this single electron from point A to point B. Now there are other charges that are present around this electron and those charges are not shown. Now as a result of those charges there will be a voltage difference, an electric potential difference between point A and point B. So if the voltage at point A is given by VA and the voltage at point B is given by VB then we define the change in electrostatic potential potential energy of the electron in the following form. Now when we define the electrostatic potential energy it's important to note the following point. So at r equals infinity when the distance between our electric charges is infinitely far then that means the voltage between those two electric charges is defined to be zero. And so the voltage is equal to q divided by 4 pi by epsilon naught multiplied by r, where r is the distance between our two electric charges. So once again we define the electrostatic potential energy, the change in U, as equal to the product of the charge of this particular uh, electric charge, so Q, multiplied by VB minus VA, where VB minus VA is simply VBA, which is the voltage difference between our two points. So when our electron travels from point A to point B, it either gains or loses this quantity of electrostatic potential energy. So let's suppose we have the following scenario in which we have a single static point charge that is present in some region of space all by itself. So it's completely isolated. So in such a case it is said to have no electrostatic potential energy because there are no other electric charges that are present in close proximity to exert an electric force. So a system consisting of a single electric charge has no potential energy because we define potential energy relative to other electric charges. Now let's suppose we take this stationary point charge and let's name it positive Q1. So this point charge has a quantity of charge given by positive Q1. And now let's suppose we bring two more electric charges near this stationary point charge Q1. What is the potential energy of this system? So it turns out that the total potential energy of a system of three electric charges is equal to the quantity of work that is required to bring all those charges together from an infinite distance away. So let's suppose the distance between charge 1 and 2 is given by R12, the distance between charge 1 and 3 is given by R13, and the distance between charges 2 and 3 is given by R23. So we want to calculate what the electrostatic potential energy of this system consisting of three charges is. So it's equal to the energy that is required required the work that is required to bring charges 1 and 2 a distance of R12 apart plus the energy that is required to bring charges 1 and 3 a distance of R3 apart plus the energy required to bring charges 2 and 3 a distance of R23 apart. Now from this definition of electrostatic potential energy we see that this quantity is equal to Q2 multiplied by the voltage as a result of point charge 1 plus 
Q3 multiplied by V1, once again the voltage as a result of charge Q1, plus Q2 multiplied by V3, where V3 is the voltage as a result of our charge Q3. Once again, at a distance of infinitely far away, we have to define the voltage to equal to zero, and in that case, V1 and V3 will be given by the following equation. So now we replace V1 and V3 by using the following equation. So Q2 multiplied by Q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by R12, the distance between these two charges, plus Q1 multiplied by Q3 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by the distance R3, which is this distance here, plus Q2 multiplied by Q3 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by R23, this distance here. So once again, V1 is simply Q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by whatever our distance is in this case, which is R12, and V3 is simply, well, it's Q3 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by R23. So this is the total electrostatic potential energy of our system of three electric charges. And we arrived to this equation by simply realizing that the total amount of work that is required to move all these charges together is equal to the total electrostatic potential energy. Because we assumed if we had a stationary static point charge all by itself, that stationary point charge would have an electrostatic potential energy equaling zero.